Hello and welcome to Puar Academy, Statistical Quality Control P chart. And in this case, we are discussing two new points simultaneously. One is unequal sample sizes, and another is percentage defect use chart. Yes, hardly in any reference book you will find these topics. So you are lucky enough that you are watching these two parts of the process of solving such kind of a problem. Yes, as in the previous lecture, I had stated that <clears throat> we can solve this problem through average sample size. Yes, uh, average sample size we calculated was 1779. Uh, control limit rather central limit was p bar that is 17.9 all these things are percentage i have already discussed all these things in the previous lecture this is just a summary so that you can say relax very quickly and it was 15.2 yeah okay now we have 10 samples so on x axis it will be very easy to plot all the 10 samples but in case of y axis the lowest value we need is 10.8 yes 10.8 and the highest value we need is 28.7 so we shall have to pull the y axis and we shall start Writing on y-axis from 10, 10 to 29. We are going to write 10 to 29. So it will be quite uh, uh, troublesome for me to write everything. Let's pull it. I had also explained the pulling in my previous lecture. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Now from 10 to 29, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay? Yeah, and let's write. These are percentage defectives. Yes, the special point of this problem. And samples 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Now just plotting, but before that we have to write, uh, draw three lines. Central line is at 17.9, 17.9, 1 millimeter below 18. Central line is drawn continuously. Upper control limit is 17.9, sorry, uh, uh, 20.6, sorry. Yes, 6 millimeters above 20 or 4 millimeters below 21. And lower control limit is 15.2, 2 millimeters above 15. Yes, upper control limit and lower control limit both are drawn as dotted or broken lines. Now, sample number 1 has 21.3 PS, 21.3, 3 millimeters above 21. Sample number 2 has 28.7. Sample number 3 has 15.4. Sample number five, 4 has 25.3, 3 millimeters above 25. Sample number 5 is 18. Slightly above the central line. 
सैंपल नंबर सिक्स है एटीन पॉइंट थ्री सैंपल नंबर सेवन है फोर्टीन पॉइंट नाइन वन मिलीमीटर बिलो फिफ्टीन सैंपल नंबर एट है फिफ्टीन पॉइंट सेवन स्लाइटली अबोव द लोअर कंट्रोल लिमिट सैंपल नंबर नाइन है टेन पॉइंट एट टू मिलीमीटर बिलो इलेवन एंड सैंपल नंबर टेन एज नाइनटीन पॉइंट फोर फोर मिलीमीटर अबो नाइनटीन यस इफ योर टीचर एडवाइज यू टू ज्वाइन ऑल दीज विथ स्ट्रेट लाइन डू ज्वाइन इट इज ऑप्शनल द मेन थिंग इज एग्जामिंग द ग्राफ हाउ मेनी पॉइंट आर अबो द यू सी एल देर आर थ्री पॉइंट एंड टू पॉइंट आर बिलो द एल सी एल आउट ऑफ टेन फाइव पॉइंट आर आईदर अबो द यू सी एल और बिलो द एल सी एल दैट मीन्स द प्रोसेस इज नॉट अंडर कंट्रोल इफ ओनली वन पॉइंट इज आईदर अबो द यू सी एल और बिलो द एल सी एल स्ट्रिक्टली वी हैव टू कंक्लूड दैट द प्रोसेस इज नॉट अंडर कंट्रोल वी हैव टू बी स्ट्रीजेंट यस बिकॉज फ्रॉम अ वेरी ह्यूज प्रोडक्शन क्वांटिटी वी हैव जस्ट टेकन टेन सैंपल्स सेवनटीन थाउजेंड we have examined on the basis of this we have to conclude these for a very huge production for few days or say a specific period that's why we have to be very stringent all the samples only if all the sample points are within upper control limit and lower control limit then only we conclude that the process is under control so in this case we conclude that the process is not under control because so many points are either above the ucl or below the lcl i hope this lecture is very much useful to you it proves very much useful to you to understand how to draw the percentage defective chart as well as how to draw a control chart where the samples are of not equal size don't forget to like this lecture all other my lectures and don't forget to visit and subscribe my channel do recommend my channel to all because it is very much useful for all whether they are students or professionals or researchers yes thank you very much